an example of finding a, a composition of polynomials. Um, so the first one would be g of x, f of x, and the second one we'll do is the complete opposite of it, and then just kind of compare their answers. All right, so you concentrate on the g function on the outside first. So we're going to write this as uh, g of uh, x is equal to 3 times something minus 1. And inside, we're going to put um, our function f of x. And of course, f of x looks like uh, x squared minus 4x plus 2. All right, and then just simplify. So we have this uh, g of f of x is equal to uh, 3x squared minus 12x. And here we'll have a plus 6 and then minus 1, which would be plus 5. So g of f of x is just 3x squared minus 12x plus 5. All right. For part b here, um, f of g of x, we're going to want to concentrate on the f function first. So we'll say f of uh, x is equal to uh, something squared minus 4 times something uh, plus 2. And inside here is going to go the function g of x. And g of x, of course, is that 3x minus 1 and make sure it goes in all the empty parentheses that you left behind. All right, and then just simplify. So we have here uh, f of g of x is equal to uh, 9x squared minus 6x plus 1 minus 12x plus 4 plus 2 would be a plus 6. All right, and then simplify a little further. f of g of x is equal to 9x squared uh, minus 18x uh, plus 7. And that would be f of g of x. And since the domains of polynomials are all real numbers, we have no worries about uh, domain restrictions here.